Hello everyone, and welcome to our annual Last Sunday's Holiday Special. As is customary, we invited the acclaimed Nexus Performing Arts Company to provide a musical tour of our current exhibition, Jamaica, Jamaica. Their musical stylings range from traditional folk to contemporary popular music. And the performance is punctuated with their creative director, Hugh Dowes's meditations on particular works in the exhibition. While it does not have the usual bustling crowds and direct interaction with the audience, I'm sure you'll see the spirit of the music transcends this digital format. Feel free to sing along, dance, or simply sit back and enjoy this performance by Nexus. These trophies were won by Bass Odyssey. Yes, real trophies for real clashes. And these are boxes that are from what Sonia Stanley Naya calls Jamaica's national musical instrument, the sound system. For those who don't know, the Jamaican recording industry started at Stanley Motors, where this public announcement speaker is from. And the first popular music was mentor music, with people like Lord Fly and Lord Flea being the ones who carried that music out into the world. You might know the name Harry Belafonte as one of Jamaica's strongest mentor proponents, and all his music is known by everyone across the world. But Sir Cox and Dodd, whose speakers these were, carried out through sound system the carrying of the voice of the Jamaican people to the Jamaican grassroots people. That's when radio would not play the music from the grassroots. That's when he and Duke Reed would have been involved in sharing the people's music with themselves. The prophets got a chance to be heard in their own country. And in our work today, we salute some of the greats who are represented here almost in the way that we would see comic books presenting great characters. And it's very interesting that the work of Alfonso Gideon Reed presents our stars like comic book stars. Have you ever heard the names of our stars who don't use their own names? Their pseudonyms are like Beanie Man, Bounty Killer, Elephant Man, Sizzler. All of these names that could have been in a Marvel or a DC comic series. Choose the one your, your preference is for. But these men and women, some of who left us this year, like Tootsie Burt, Millie Small, Bonnie Lee, and others who have stepped on even before, have made our music impact the world in such a way that they should never be forgotten. From I don't know, say your number one, let me see put your hand in her ear, you know. Let me see her up from side to side, and she do it with, yeah. You know how we roll. So, you know some man who not come alone, so. Let's sing to the palm now, you know. Ah,
than those ridges, older than the mountains, there up in the breeze, country road, take me home, to the place. And as we speak about folk music and the traditions of the religion, the music of revival, of the Nainait, of Kumina, and of all our other traditional forms, a very important part of the African retentions that have come to bolster us in an understanding that we are indeed people from Africa and from the East, an Eastern people in a Western space. And so here we have some of the items from our traditional music forms, including the gumbe or maroon drum, the kubando or playing kas, uh, the abeng horn here on loan from Dwight Pinckney, and the revival drum set. We also here have revival and kumina drum sets and shakers. And David Pottinger's work, Nine Night, with the representation of persons in that space celebrating the circle of life, that there is no real death, that there is only rebirth through the passing into the next life. With this work, we focus through the work, the revival. In these two works by Professor Clinton Hutton, we see the spirit of the people of Jamaica. In Masquerade, a representation of John Canoe. And in Revival, we see here the spiritual represented in a particular distinct way in the photography of Clinton Hutton. Boy, oh, yo, yo. Boy, yo, yo.
Romans Road. Romans Road, Zion Manza Road. Romans Road, Zion Manza Road. Romans Road, Zion Manza Road. When we get to heaven, never hear Romans Road. Romans Road, Zion Manza Road. Romans Road, Zion Manza Road. Romans Road, Zion Manza Road. Horsemouth Wallace, Rico Rodriguez, Tommy McCook, Don Drummond. If you know these names, then you know the names of people who benefited from listening to the music of Sister Mary Ignatius Davies and her team of nuns at Alpha Boy School run by the Sisters of the Convent of Mercy. The Mercy Sisters had used music as a tool for salvation for boys who had been abandoned or at risk. And until today, the Alpha Boys Institute, Music Institute, continues the work started by those nuns. Mott and Jeff was the sound system that Sister Mary Ignatius used to expose the children of Alpha to all types of music. And out of that came a school of the first wave of great Jamaican musicians who impacted through their live work on a lot of the iconic music that we listen to today. And there are others, King Yellowman, and so many others who have benefited from the work of the sound system through the work of the church. Spiritual mission using Jamaican music. We honor Sister Mary Ignatius Davies.
If there is ever an instrument that represents mental music, the sweetest music in the world, our Hispanic music, it is this, the rumba box. One of the names you'll see here is of the Jolly Boys mental band. And up here you'll see the, Dinger, the Diggers mental band. Um, but the rumba box as mentor plays the sweetest bass that you could ever have. And if you've ever heard a tuned mentor box, you will know how sweet it is. And so we use this to talk about the music we're going to share with you next, the Matty Medley. You know, there are always these figures in Jamaica who folk music focuses on. There is the Liza songs, the Dinah songs, the Mother Bana songs, the Sammy songs, and all these other people like Isaac. Well, we're going to sing about a lady who you might know named Matty. <laughs> Right over here, we have who I call the darling of Jamaica, Louise Bennett Coverley, Miss Lou. Her music, her dress, her acting, her poems, her stories, her recordings in programs like um, Yes, My Dear, books like Jamaica Labrish, have helped to present Jamaican people right back to themselves, to represent them. And she has made herself, as Sonia Stanley Nair and Stuart Hall talk about, well, Stuart Hall first, as canvases of representation. She made herself represent her nation and how, how we love Miss Lou. So this piece, the album cover of Yes, My Dear, Year Unknown, is one of the pieces on display here, right beside an album cover of the authentic Jamaican folk songs by the famous Frats Quintet. And they're one of their last remaining members, great J.J. Williams, died earlier this year at a grand old age of 104. 
But these are the people who have pioneered our remembrance of ourselves through the music of our ancestors. The journey of the Jamaican people, her music, her art, is a journey of a people who are from the East and in the West. It's a journey that religion and spirituality expressed through art and through music finds a divinity of God that is a black man's divinity. It is Marcus Garvey who is a part of the advance of that mission. And we have Hazel Rodney's work, Hazel Rodney Blackman's work. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity, it says. Unity of the mind of great men. And there you see the representation of Garvey and King Haile Selassie I of Ethiopia. 
The recognition of divinity in the way that Selassie was constructed as the divine continues in the work of Edward Brown in the Nyabingi Rastaman celebration of music and spirit. And Osman Watson's work, The Mystic, where his work shows an unambiguously black divine presentation. The music we do the, in, in the next session is the music of those who have advanced that work. And in Bujo Banton and Grams Morgan's work, the 23rd Psalm and the Our Father. Sing our shepherd I not want he makes me down to lie in pastures green that lead at me the quiet waters by my soul thou hath restored breath in the presence of my foes my head thou hast anointed with oil till my cup Goodness and mercy all my life shall surely follow me And in just house forevermore my dwelling place shall be oh, Goodness and mercy all my life shall surely follow me And in just house forevermore When one thinks of Peter Tosh, one thinks of the irreverent firebrand, original fireman of reggae music. And this became one of the greatest symbols of his work. He used music like a weapon for the dispossessed, like that kind of rod that parted the Red Sea for the children of Israel that Moses used. That's Peter's work. And Peter had the voice of a man who was called to sing spiritually for the people. His, his M16 guitar, however, is the work of Bruno Kuhn and was actually Bruno's original property. But later on, it was Kuhn who refashioned and rebuilt a guitar in the same model of Peter Tosh's iconic instrument. This picture of Tosh by David Burnett captures the mood of Tosh, who is really a laid-back man, as a man who, you have to think about him as a man who also sings, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, sitting here in the morning sun reflecting, you know? And the piece 
pulls you in. You can see him thinking and at the same time see him in a place of repose. Jah is my keeper, now used by the Anglican Church. And all those from the hegemonic side of things who once were on the other side is a song that is an anthem for those today who want to remember that no matter what is happening in the world, Jah is still in control. And in the work, the voice, Edna Manley reminds us that even with a mask, we still have a voice. And the work is a representation in a room that focuses on other icons of the music, Bonnie Whaler and Bob Marley. Her work is a reminder of the voice that Rastafari and the music of men and women in the tradition of that Ethiopianism have continued to share the lives and the voices of the downtrodden, not only of Jamaica, but of the entire world. Jai is my health and my strength, so shall I feel. He is the shield upon my right and my left hand, so of whom shall I
2020 has been a challenging year for all of us, but we hope that today's performance has entertained, given comfort and inspiration as we enter into a brighter 2021. Stay safe and see you in January for our next Last Sundays. Don't be what they want.